uh, inside the Cube at Velocity Conference live in Santa Clara Convention Center. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. This is the Cube. I'm joined with my co-host. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. This uh, this is the Cube, and John Alspaugh is here. He's the senior vice president of technical ops at Etsy. Uh, John, welcome to the Cube. We uh, we heard some great keynotes this morning. So I got to ask you: Is the web getting faster? Did we <laughs> did, did we learn that? I think we morning? heard. A, I think <laughs> we heard a little bit. Um, uh, that's a good question. I think we heard a little bit um, from a number of folks that uh, the web isn't necessarily getting faster. We, and, and this is something that we, um, I think, should expect with every new incremental uh, ability that we, that we have. We have new standards, for, uh, we have new practices, um, video is cheaper than it once was, and rich, uh, rich experiences are, are much cheaper to make. Um, so then therefore, we can make the pipes faster and we can make the pipes bigger um, but we're going to absorb that. So it's not like we build websites and then all of a sudden the networks and the pipes and, and, and sort of the practices allow us to go faster. That may be true, but we will always exploit the, um, rightly so, exploit those to do more on the web. So uh, I would say that it's a perception. Uh, I don't know if we have real data to support that it's actually faster. So give us the rundown on uh, this morning, on what we can expect for the rest of the day, mm -hmm. and what, what you're excited about here at the event. So I'll tell you, th this is the reason why um, I, 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 I love Velocity. It is a practitioner-oriented conference. Th this community has uh, very low tolerance for, for buzzwords. It has very low tolerance for hand wavy. It has very low tolerance for um, words that aren't backed up by working code and working infrastructure. So, having said that, this, this audience, like I said, is, 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 uh, is over the last six years um, uh, at Velocity has been talking and sharing about the, uh, the types of failures and successes that they have um, and, and, and sharing that, not as a commercial advantage, not as a uh, uh, competitive advantage um, in, in, uh, in the marketplace, which exists, but as a way to collectively, much like the web, um, make things better. Um, and so that's, I think, that's what's quite different between Velocity and, uh, and other, other conferences, which so, things so excited about. So the tech operations is kind of a, I don't want to say cult, but it's a really tight-knit community. You mentioned tolerance. Jonathan Hellinger, who was at Facebook, yeah. and I talked a couple years ago in 2010 when Facebook was really scaling up their operations. So that was, the, mm -hmm. was called web scale at the time. Now the term is hyperscale. Um, but that world is now very relevant with DevOps and with the role of what the cloud can do, and to power not just web, but mobile. So what is, how does Velocity fit into those, that mega trend? Because you know, DevOps or technical operations at scale is a huge challenge. It's the application life cycle, life cycle yeah. life, lifetime of an app, yeah. uh, agile programming. What is the Velocity mission relative to those mega trends? Uh, I'll, I'm going to lean in on you here and say that, um, that uh, differentiating hyperscale from small scale is I think asking a very different and um, not as relevant question as you might think. What Velocity is about, and this is the reason why you would see uh, web performance, which uh, front, engineer, front end engineers, um, Steve Souders, my, my, uh, my co-chair, uh, you know, an expert in this field, and operators, right? Um, at the same conference, in uh, on, on paper, you would think that these might be, at best, yeah. uh, at worst, diametrically opposed, or at best, somewhat um, just adjacent in their domain expertise. What Velocity is about is about making informed design and operational decisions that include trade-offs. You have trade-offs when you're a, a four-person in a garage startup, yeah, yeah, yeah. or whether you're Facebook, and shining light, shining a big, massive flashlight on the trade-offs that you're making and making them explicit, that is, that is what the conversation is about. On the design side. On all yeah. of it. And when I say design, I don't mean Front end, fr just visual. All end. I'm talking about infrastructure design, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about code design and software development patterns. The that system, the architecture of the system. The entire, the entire yeah, system. And that speaks to some of the, we were talking about the entrepreneurial landscape. Now the, they're saying the Series A is the new Series B, and Dries Horowitz had a post on that. One of the partners there talking about, hey, seed funding, half a million dollars, and now there's enough tech out there to get some integrated design where you can show some scale, show some uh, movement, either in the, in the adoption of revenue or application 
viability. Mm -hmm. That kind of speaks to this, right? I mean, if you design it properly, you can get some. <laughs> it depends on the definition of properly, <laughs> right? Properly yeah. for Facebook meant in Zuck's room at Harvard, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, those are very different um, uh, decisions and probably quite apt at the time than what Jonathan made years later. Yeah. And so again, it's I think that I, I think that where the conversation, the, the better question is not building it right the first time, it is, uh, or building it right at any part of your, um, your evolution, it is making it very clear on what you are building and what you, what, how, when you expect. All designs will, um, will fall over. Uh, it's only a matter of, of time. And so, you know, a lot of Lassi attendees are pretty familiar with the spending too much, too, spending too much time uh, to get something out that's absolutely perfect is going to scale infinitely, why would you do that if you have zero customers, right? And versus uh, uh, the trade-offs that you would make when you have a billion users. Um, so, and there's, you know, this is, a, it's, it's a bit of a, a much more complex, but it's, it's not as um, delineated, I would even argue delineated by even funding, to some extent this is, yeah. this is but I would say it's just a, uh, yet another influence on those decision making. John, we know you got to go, but uh, you think your point about practitioners, uh, conference for practitioners, right on, if you listened in this morning, it wasn't a bunch of hand waving and Vendors. celebrating the progress yeah. that, that you've made as a community, it was all about the challenges, the problems, the risks, how to identify those, so we heard a lot of good meaty content this morning. What's up for this afternoon and, and, and tomorrow? Give us some highlights. My, uh, I think, I think what you're going to uh, what you're going to hear is uh, a plethora of perspectives. I think you're going to hear, um, uh, and that's the thing that we're hoping for is to get a diversity of opinion, uh, and um, that that has real meat. We don't want to talk about um, theory. Um, what you're going to hear uh, from a number of uh, cases, and a lot of these are you can consider them as sort of case studies. Um, from the operation side, you're going to see a lot, uh, a continued from last year, uh, uh, emphasis on the word resiliency. Um, building something perfect that will never go down uh, is, is, an, is exactly a pipe dream. And instead of per spending time preventing uh, failure, and fo instead focusing on how can you best absorb variations, right? Um, the cloud is basically a forcing factor on this because failure is, is, is expected very much. And I think that that's probably, history may, may say that that's actually the larger benefit um, <laughs> uh, because yeah. the cloud can fail. So that's good. Okay, John, I know you got to run for your next segment. Thanks for coming on uh, the queue. I know you're tight. Really yep. appreciate it. We'd love to spend more time with you, but you're uh, yep. very in high demand. Thanks for coming on the queue. We'll be right back. We're going to drill down and have a lot of conversations with the technologists, the practitioners, and the folks putting the meat on the bone, as we say. A lot of sizzle at other events, but the stake is here at Velocity. <laughs> uh, meat on the bone, use cases, operations, design, great philosophy, a lot of diversity. So uh, thanks for coming on. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. All right, thank you.